Hello. Today we're going to talk about controlling objects on a screen using XBasic code in Alpha Software. For the purpose of our example, we're going to look at the check register database that we have written in the Take Charge Software Suite. So I click on my display menu, choose Calculator. Now I can grab a save tape, which would bring up the associated calculator, or I can click on Open Calc and then select the one that I want from the list. Uh, we're going to grab check register because that's going to be the one we're using for the demo. We continue. Now when it comes up, it's as a default is on the check writing screen, but we can change our view to deposits, reconciler, checks, um, and report menu. Here's where we're actually going to use our demo. As you can see down here, it says for the reports, all reports will display based on the date range selected above. Currently, the date range is current date, so any report will reflect only the records entered today. If I want a different date, I select Selected Date, and it displays a calendar. Now I can hit the drop down here, choose the date that I want to see. Okay, Or, I can say I want a date range. Under date range, I'm able to set a beginning date and an ending date and display all the records for each of the reports within that date range. Let's take a look at how that works. All right, let's go back over to our screen here. <clears throat> now, to make that happen, we need three variables on our form. We have report date type, beginning date, and ending date. This variable, we're going to select it and look at the properties of it. It is a combo box, which will display it as a drop-down, and our choices are current date, selected date, and date range. Now in itself that's not special, but what happens is when we take and change that value, it's going to tell us what objects to show on the screen. If it's the current date, I do not need to see the drop-down calendar for the beginning date or the ending date or the associated labels. So those four objects are hidden. If I'm selecting a date, then I want to see the label and the drop-down calendar for beginning date, but not for ending date. Finally, my third choice is to take and show all objects on the screen. Now, when it comes to, this is a simple example of controlling objects on the screen. It's just a simple hide or show. But if you want to take and change other values on an object, you can go to View, Object Explorer, and let's go look at that select date object. Um, let's see, select date. Here we go. Everything over here that's listed in the property box can be changed with XBasic code. So you can pretty much do anything you want with that object. If you're not sure how to do it, then it shows you what it is here, and you just work backwards in naming everything onto your screen, and you can use the objects in your Windows Explorer to take and uh, find the object that you want and either change the method or the properties for that object. Okay, so let's use the ending date over here. There you go. There's all the things that we can do that objects, those objects. Now, let's close this. So once you see how that works, then again, it's just a matter of going out and the user takes and uh, makes their choices, grabs their report, and it's a very simple thing for them to do. Well, that's it for taking and changing objects on a screen with XBasic code. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you very, very much, and have a great day.